So some of you guys may remember this here fire kit. Uh, we used it in quite a few different videos, stove videos. It changes all the time because we use it so much. Uh, this is my most used fire kit. It's the one we always use. Um, so we've replaced quite a bit in it because we use everything out of it so it's always being redone. Thought I would just come do an update and show you guys. I'm going to call it my EDC fire kit. I don't carry it every day obviously. I'm not going to carry a fire kit this size in my pocket or anything. Uh, a lighter works for me just fine when I'm out and about but it is the kit that I use every day when I do use a kit so that's why it's labeled EDC. And some of the stuff, the boxes haven't changed, but I have changed some other things and I'm uh, testing out some other homemade fire stuff that we put together. Uh, same little ferro rod, you can see it's, it's been used a little more since last time you've seen it. I think that's a Coglins maybe. Yeah, possibly. Same match tube, got a, a UCO Titan and a UCO uh, Stormproof down in here. And then I added this other ferro rod. It's just in there as a backup, I guess, so to speak, because it's never been used or anything. But uh, I made a little fat wood handle for it. So we got some extra fat wood, if nothing else. And then in here, go ahead and open it up. This is just a little kit. What happened to it? There it is. I have this little Ziploc bag full of uh, jute twine Vaseline. That stuff burns really well, uh, and I keep it in this. Uh, I did have it in one of these Mylars, but I used some of it, so I just threw it back down in a little Ziploc bag. And then we have some dry cotton balls. And one of my favorite uh, little fire starters, UST. I have like four of these things. And then this is pine sap that I stuck down in another little Mylar bag. And then this is cotton balls and fat wood just fat wood shavings down in it i took some really high resin stuff like this and shaved it down in there that's what's in the front part this is the part i go for when i'm going to start a fire uh, usually i don't go one of these is usually what, what gets used and if this don't do it or if i need a tender i go inside this box not that one and this is just kind of the same really uh, tender Quicks Four Season, Tender Quick Zippos, Striker, Matches. That's a match striker, and then that's a ferro rod striker down in there. Birch bark, cotton, cotton, some fat wood, and then you can see the uh, Shrade striker down in there. And then I've got another saw blade over here that works really well as a striker. And you can tell that's what I've been using. You can see all the grooves in it. That's what I've been using, that saw blade. It throws some crazy sparks on this thing. Uh, and you can get it away, away from your finger. So if you're having to heat something up with it, you're sitting there doing this, it's not getting hot on your hands like that shrade does. If I'm just lighting cotton balls with it or something, that's fine. I usually don't use a ferro rod. I usually use a match. And that's usually the match I use. It's just right there on the side of the kit. So I don't even really have to go into the kit. I pull it out, there's my two matches. I can usually get a fire going with just this and it works well so usually I don't have to go into the kit but if I do that's quite a bit of stuff to get some fires going uh, so it'll be redone because we'll use all this stuff up and then replace it with other stuff and do another video eventually that's gonna be it for this one thanks for watching YouTube